Yo, what's up guys, Tavares Media here back with another video. And today guys, I'm gonna be showcasing a bot demo that I built for a client that sold for $5,000. $3,000 implementation fee, $2,000 monthly retainer. And I wanna talk about how to build actually advanced conversational chatbots and not just base chatbots that are only orientated by buttons and are very linear and closed domain because that is not a chatbot that is more so of just old techniques and old technology, right? I think a lot of people are getting confused on the kind of technology that they're using, right? And I'm sorry guys on the videos that I made using VoiceFlow and BotPress, which honestly are very linear and not advanced platforms, right? You can use them, they are good, but right, if you guys wanna go more advanced, you're gonna have to use applications like Stack AI, Flowwise and self-host on the Flowwise with very expensive servers. So at least a thousand dollar a month servers because guys, if you're not having Flowwise, like come on, right? So Flowwise, Langchain, Langsmith, Langflow, all those kind of advanced platforms where you can actually solely use GPT technologies. That is what you guys should be focusing on. BotPress and VoiceFlow, they do use GPT technologies, but they also use NLUs and NLP techniques. And I've already talked about it in the past how it's good, but actually I do believe that only using LLM technologies is the most powerful. I'm gonna show you guys why right now. And I bet all of you guys' voice flow bots cannot do what I'm about to do right now with this bot I just made. And this is a real estate bot, and we're gonna go ahead and show the demo right now. So let's go. All right, I'm gonna say hello. I'm looking for a property, right? Again, I wanna see you guys replicate this with voice flow, okay? And guess what? I had did no API calling in this. This is just a demo. This is all base uh, stored information. So it's just CSV files. So imagine what you could do with live data, which is crazy. All right, so this is all LLM technology, GBT4-0613 model. All right, just say my budget is 5 mil AED. Um, any location is fine and any bedrooms. Now look at my dialect, look at my slang. My budget is 5 mil. I'd even say the actual five million dollar, and look, it recognizes it five M A E D, and it still be able to detect that because it's using solely generated technologies. Look at that five mil, and it went right to five million. And look at this, it's giving me live images in the chat, posting live images, links to images, not images just stored in voice flow like in my old videos, right? Again. You know, guys, um, voice flow is for beginners, but you guys need to take this seriously because you can create amazing bots and applications if you just take this a bit more serious and start building real application, guys. Because look what you can do. I mean, look at this. It just showed me three properties, right? Would you like to schedule any viewings for these properties? And look at that. Images in chat from links, okay? Not just previous data that I already had. From links. So it takes links and it can put it to image, which is amazing. Right, and it also has click links, so you can click it and it takes you to the live page, okay? And this is using Stack AI, by the way, guys. So, um, again, I know Stack AI is expensive, but that should be your goal, is to sign a client so you can't afford Stack AI. Don't sell out, guys. All right, so let's just say, tell tell me, a, let's just say, hmm, actually, can we speak in Russian? And can you tell me about the Dubai Marina location? So now we're switching the language dialect to Russian. Let's see if this works, guys. And there it goes, guys. It's speaking Russian right now, okay? <laughs> like, you do realize, like, um, when uh, in a voice flow, you have to, like, you can only set it to one language because it's using natural language and natural language processing uh, techniques rather than just solely using LM technologies, which LM technologies can handle all of that. So it's literally speaking the entirely in Russian. I can I, I speak some Russian, so I understand a little bit of it. And look at that. It's giving me the same links. And look at that. Let's see if it still works. And it still works. So it's converting the links in Russian, which is amazing. And it's still giving me images in Russian. I'm going to say, let's switch to another language. I, like, this is amazing, guys. We Dubai, Marina, there you go. So it is working. That is Russian, I understand it. And uh, no hallucinations either, which is perfect, right? And it's showing me real images, okay? All right, let's, uh, now it's doing its thing. We gotta wait till it's done responding, so I'm gonna pause it. 
All right, so it gave us all of it in Russian, and let's just say, actually, can we switch to Arabic? So now we're gonna switch to Arabic, which is important because this client has international clients, so they have people who speak Arabic, Russian, Japanese, Chinese, all these all these different type of languages. And if your voiceful bot cannot switch to certain dialects and languages, then what can you do? And now it's speaking Arabic for me, and it's still pulling live links, which is amazing. As you guys can see, it's still pulling live links. If we click it, it's still working, as you guys can see. So it's speaking Arabic, and it can switch all these languages, which is amazing, and it also has conversational memory, so it understands, and it uses contextual memory rather than using variables, which is amazing. So if you guys understand what natural language actions are, instead of using variables, which is the old method that voice flow does, voice variables are very, very uh, linear, right? So you have to ask the user the question, and then based on their input, using NLU or NLP, you have to detect that variable with intent identification and then grab that word and put it into a variable. Rather, so that's even a more manual process and it's also not very non-linear. So it can make a lot of mistakes and end up catching different words. So let's say you wanna catch an email variable and the user actually makes a sentence that's unpredictable with the email in it and it accidentally identifies a different word as the email. Rather than, this, which uses natural language actions, it uses the LLM to detect the variables through natural language, which is amazing, and it stores that. So it say, can we switch, switch back to English, and I would like more information on the first property. So right now we're, this is a conversational chatbot. This is not linearized, it's delinearized, so we can go out and we can, look at that, it's switching right back to English and it's giving me information on the first property that I want, which is amazing. Right, so we can go back into our open domain and be able to communicate as a human because humans are unpredictable. We have nuances, we have slang, we have objections, we have digressions, and voiceful cannot predict that or bot press unless you super, super train it in depth. Right, look at this. It gives me more information on the bot and it says, Would you like to schedule a room for this property? If so, would you could you please provide me with your preferred date and time? Yes, I yes, I would. Now this is going to be the variable, this is gonna be the functionality of the bot, the lead qualification and the lead generation. Now it's generating the lead. So it's booking the viewing. Yes, I would like to schedule a viewing. I want to see this property on, and we're gonna make a fake date, 2023 at 3 p.m. And now we just booked a viewing and let's see what it says, guys. And there we go, it says great, I've scheduled a viewing. And look at that, it recalls the information, invoking the tools, and boom. So there you go, guys, and it's done. And it invoked that information, and now it called that. And that information is stored, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. And there you guys go, right there. We just got the book date, collected data in Stack AI. There's the date, there's the time, boom. There you go, guys. Yes, it costs $1,000 a month to run this, but it is so worth it. You can actually use this for free, guys, don't forget. But the functionality is, you know, obviously the paid version is going to be better. And there you go, guys. It did that. It's recalling all the variable information without me having to manually set variables, manually recall them. Guys, this is how you do it. So what is my point in this video? Step away from voice flow. Step away from bot press. Look into Flowwise. Look into LangChain. Look into LangSmith. And start looking to build advanced bots using only generative technologies. Step away from the intent identification. Step away from the NLP, NLU. That's what I preached in the beginning, but now what I've realized, the power and capability of generative technology, you should only be focusing on using products that provide only generative technology. And that's my point, and that's my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, this bot is amazing. This is a fully production. This bot is literally fully production. Like, it's ready to go into production. All it needs to do is add a little bit more functionality and a little bit more bug decoding. decoding and that's it this bot is ready to go and it's amazing guys and that's all because of large language models generative pre-trained transformers and the power of open ai infra uh anthropic and all these amazing uh companies so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later if you guys have any objections go ahead argue with me anyways hope you guys enjoyed i'm out see you guys later